Hi friends, it's Deanna here today, and today we're sewing up the Ileana Baby Tee Pattern. This is a crop top um, that's got different options. It's got a longer length option, it's got different neckline options, it's got different sleeves options. Um, today we're sewing up two different versions. I'm going to be doing this version right here, which is a scoop neck, sleeveless, with the rouging on the side. I'm also going to be sewing up the long sleeve, crew neck, crop top version of this pattern. So, let's get started. Alright friends, let's get started. These um, pieces here are for the uh, uh, cropped version. I'm doing a cropped long sleeve with a crew neck. And these pieces here are for the ruched version. I'm going to do a scoop neck sleeveless ruched version with this one. So we're going to get started. Now for both versions, the first thing is to sew up the back uh, piece right sides together. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to be using my serger for um, most of the sewing on this. This is a knit pattern, which means you'll need a stretch stitch. So if you're using your sewing machine, you need to use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine, or if you're using your serger, that will work just fine. So let's go ahead and sew that up. All right, so they are sewn in the back. Now we're going to put aside our ruched version and we'll come back to that. And we're going to work on our cropped or regular version. You would do the same for the cropped or the regular version on this section here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my back bodice, place it right on my mat, right side up. And I'm going to grab my front bodice and place it right on top. We're going to sew the shoulders right sides together. And the side seams right sides together. All right, now our bodice is completed for our, um, this is for, if you're making the cropped version or the regular version, this is what you would do so far. Now, if you're making the regular version, you would just hem uh, re like regular of half an inch fold up if you're making the long version, and then you'd move on to the sleeves and the neckband, which we'll do later. If you're making the cropped version, we're going to add some elastic at the bottom. So I'm going to mark, I've got my sides already. I've got my back because I have that back seam. I'm going to mark my front here. So that way I've got my quarters. I'm going to grab half inch elastic and I'm going to measure it out to be the same width as my, as my bodice. It's a one to one ratio. So I'm not adding anything because I'm not going to be stretching or anything. It's just going to be sitting there to help the, uh, top fit nicely at the bottom and I'm gonna cut that now we are not overlapping this elastic so if you want to do the reason why we're not overlapping is because we don't want the extra bulk but if you want overlap you're gonna add length you're gonna add an inch and then you're gonna overlap and stitch it together we don't want to have that bulky there so we're just gonna face them like right to each other like butt them up against each other and then sew them like this so that way it is um, together so I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to do just a quick zigzag stitch to kind of keep them together so that when I attach them, they're not going to fall apart on me. Make sure when you're doing this that they're not twisted. You don't want it twisted at all. I did a long zigzag stitch so they just are just right next to each other and flat. So that way they're not like super tight. I'm going to do it one more time. Or you can do this way so that way it will stay together all right so now I've got my thing sewn and it's flat this is not you're not gonna see this part I'm gonna trim all this but you're not gonna see this part because this is gonna be encased in the hem all right so now that this is all put together let me trim some of this extra thread. I'm going to quarter this because I'm going to place it on my bodice and sew it onto my bodice, my hem. So I'm just gonna match it up here at the raw edge and we're gonna sew it with your preferred stitch. Zigzag stitch, I might just serge it on. All right. So if you're making the regular, if you're making the crop top, this is what you're doing for the crop top. If you're making the regular length, you're just folding and top stitching. Now, 
I'm going to put this aside. We're going to go do that. But we're going to work on our ruched top. And I'm going to show you what you do with that. Our ruched top is just a tiny bit different. So the first thing we're going to do with the ruched top is to do the hem. Um, because the sides are going to be sewn a different way to have a casing for the ruching. So the um, hem has to be done first. So we're going to fold and you will notice that on the ruche um, hem, you have this like little mark here. That's to help you line it up really nicely. See how it lines up so nicely once you have it folded. So make sure that you've got it nice and lined up and we're going to fold all the way across and then we're gonna go hem the front and the back. All right, while we're doing that, or you know, you can wait and do it after you hem the bottom, I'm going to sew the shoulders right sides together. Uh, this is my rouged version. If you're sewing your elastic on with the um, serger, make sure that you're not cutting any of the elastic off. I'm just going to go right up to it. You can even disengage your knife if you don't feel comfortable having your knife on there. I, um, I'm just going to make sure that I'm not cutting it. You don't, shouldn't have to stretch the elastic at all because it should just fit one to one ratio. All right, so now that that's hemmed, we're going to face the front and back right sides together and we're going to sew these side seams. Now, because this is the ruched version, you have to be careful because they, I'm going to, you can't just sew with the serger because we're going to create a casing. Down here at the bottom, the hem should match up. And we're going to, when we're sewing this right here, we're gonna come right at this corner where the edges match up here at the corner. And we're gonna go straight up with a stretch stitch on our sewing machine. You cannot use the serger because we're going to open that seam allowance to create our casing. So I'm gonna go a half an inch and we're gonna go straight up I'm probably going to use a triple stitch. You can use a triple stitch or zigzag stitch. Whatever kind of stretch stitch you like to use on your sewing machine uh, would work. For hemming my top, I'm using my cover stitch, but any stretch stitch on your sewing machine will do if you do not have a cover stitch, a triple stitch, a zigzag stitch, um, a double needle, any of those. On my sewing machine, this is my triple stitch right there. It is got like three little lines that um, go together and it ends up looking like a straight stitch. So that's the stitch I'll be using. Be sure to come right to that corner. All right, we're gonna fit our bodice of our shirt like through your ironing board or use a little, uh, um, steaming ham or whatever you gotta do to open this up and we're gonna open up this seam allowance here as you can see at the bottom it flushes nicely that hem right there and we're gonna open it up and using your preferred stretch stitch we're going to sew the outer edges of each side to create that casing where we're going to put our um, little strap through so i'm going to use uh I might use just a thin zigzag stitch or you could use the triple stitch again or I might use the triple stitch again. I do like that stitch. Um, but we're going to top stitch this down to create the casing. We're just going to go straight down, straight down and back stitch at the bottom and at the top. Make sure when you're sewing this up that you use a thread that um, it's, it matches the color of the outer side of the shirt because you're going to be seeing that stitch on the other side. So you want to make sure that it's a color that it, it's okay to see on the outside. I'm just going to use white. As I'm sewing those sides, I'm also going to prep my little ties for my rouging. I cut my tie by measuring my side waist. I know my side waist is a nine inch. So you're going to times that by two. So that would be 18. <clears throat> and then you're going to add 10. So that would be 28. So I, t I cut this 28 by 1.5 and then I'm folding it right sides together and I'm going to sew along the raw edge to create like a tube and then I'm going to turn it around and that will be my straps. So I make one for each side. 
make sure everything else is out of the way so you're not going to catch anything else on it. You're just catching that side seam. Here's what that stitch looks like on the other side. It just looks like a straight stitch right there, but it's still stretchy. All right, so we've got those casings prepared. And this is the reason why I like the triple stitch because as you can see, it just looks like a straight stitch on the other side, but it still gives you a little bit of stretch. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab our tube that we created and we're going to turn it. I have one of these loop um, tube turner, turners. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in through the top and pull it. Now, if you don't have one of these turners, you can definitely use, uh, uh, what are they called? <laughs> one of those little pins, um, close pin, couldn't think of the name, but we're gonna fit it right through our casing. Okay, and then I'm gonna go from the bottom of the other side and pull it around. Wow. All right, so as you can see right here is the tie and we're going to pull them so that they're even all right, once they're even here at the bottom, I'm just gonna clip this extra thread here and I'm just gonna tie them in a knot so they're not gonna come off. And you can cut off all these extra strings everywhere here. And you're gonna tighten it as much as you want or loosen it as much as you want and do the little bow or whatever you wanna do. It's gonna be super cute right here at the bottom. And here at the top, once it's got, it's all nice and fitted, you can pull that down a little bit and you will top stitch this down and then we'll move on to doing our sleeves. Oh, this is going to be so cute. All right, I'm going to do it for fit in for the other side as well. All right, so now the ruched sides are done and now we move on to our sleeves. Now you can do this step, this next step for the sleeves and the neckband is the same for both, but I'm doing two different sleeves, so I'll show you that. Um, we did not finish our top here. This is our crop top. All you've gotta do after you attach that hem, I mean that elastic, is to fold the elastic up and top stitch and that helps you guide you as your hem. The only reason why I didn't go ahead and do that right away when I was over there is because on my cover stitch, I have white thread, so I gotta change my thread. So that's why I didn't do this part over there yet. But this is the next part for the shirt. And then uh, I'm just attaching sleeves and neckband. So we're gonna do the same. We're gonna attach all those sleeve and neckbands at the same time, and then we'll be done. All right, let's start with our neckband slash armbands. The first thing I wanna do is give it a memory crease. So I'm gonna fold it wrong sides together. And then I'm going to sew the raw edge right sides together here at the short raw edge. And I'm gonna do that for my neck bands and if you're doing arms, um, arm bands. Now for the sleeves, if you're doing the sleeve version, I'm gonna go ahead and fold over and do a memory crease for the hem. Now, if you are doing the sleeves for the ruched top and then you're doing the short sleeve, it may be easier to go ahead and actually hem before you even sew the sleeve on because it will be just a little piece and it might be a little bit hard to hem afterwards with the rouging on the side and everything like that. So it is up to you. But once we've done that memory crease, we're gonna grab our sleeve and we're gonna fold it right sides together and sew that inseam together. All right, let's finish these babies up. Let me show you what I'm going to do with my bands. I'm going to quarter my neck band, my neck area, shoulders to the back. I already have my back point because I have that seam. And then to my front and mark that. And then match the front 
and back and go to the sides and mark your quarters. And you're gonna do that with all your bands, arm bands as well. You match the two sides and find your half and those are your quarters for your arm bands. Now for my neck band, make sure I've got the right one. For my bands, I'm gonna grab them and fold them wrong sides together. I'm gonna trim this thread here because I'm gonna sew it over, sew over it so I don't need it. I'm gonna close up that there. We're gonna go to the, from the back to the front and mark our front. Then we're gonna match up the front and the back and mark our sides and those are our quarters. After my quarters are marked, we're gonna match up right sides together, those points. We're doing that for the neck bands for both tops and we're doing that for the arm bands for my sleeveless arm band. Now for the sleeves, if you're doing regular sleeve, you're make sure that you marked your sleeve. I marked my sleeve when I was cutting it. Um, see this little two notches I marked out? That's for my back and I have a notch here at the top. That's for my top seam. I'm gonna turn my top inside out and I'm gonna fit my sleeve right in there, matching up the back with the back the front with the front, right sides together. First, I'm gonna match up the underarm seam. Then I'm gonna match up my top. And then I'm gonna match up the rest of the edges, right sides together. All right, I'm gonna go sew all that stuff up and hem, and then hem my sleeves where that memory crease that we created and we'll be all done and I'll show you what it all looks like. All right, friends, we are finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Such a simple top, but so cute and so many different um, details that make you can make this pattern in so many different ways. I hope that you go ahead and go grab this pattern, which is in the description below. Come back and sew it up with me and comment below and let me know what version you're gonna be making first. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.